Well, welcome back to the live portion of Calypso Showcase. And um, we had um, a lot of reaction from Shorty. Let me put it that way. When he was watching uh, that video clip, uh, your response to, to what you saw. Well, it really licked my head off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, looking back so many years, 1981, seeing Avion on the stage brought tears to my eyes. You know, it, it gave me strength to go on. That I know that I have come a long way and not come by myself, but Jesus brought me all this way. And I'm fully persuaded in my heart that he will take me the rest of the way. Yes. Now you have been doing a lot of work with Abby. Uh, she's coming out with yeah. a new album. How much input did you have in it? Well, I wrote three songs on the album and um, I produced them, arranged them and produced them. And um, it's a joy, you know, just working with her again after so many years. We'll be talking more about the new material as we go along, but we already have online a caller from Princess Town. Good evening, Princess Town. Could you speak up, please? Yes, hello, good evening. Yes, I'm calling from Princess Town. I'm a collector and a show team. I do a, um, I would like to ask questions concerning like the wife, what, what, what role the wife play um, in your community? Um, could we, could we have you repeat um, your, your question or your comment uh, because we didn't catch it the first time. Could you speak a little louder, please? Oh, okay. I would like to ask um, Rasha T.I. what part his wife played in, in all of this, you know, how she accepted the change and so on in his career. I think I got the question of how did my wife play in all this? What, oh, what part did your wife play and how did at she accept your change? Well, she had her problems dealing with my changes, but God strengthened her, and she stood firm with me up to this day. I believe that um, I can say that uh, I, the, the kind of wife that God has given me, they don't make them like that anymore. Very well She's said. Full. You know, God bless her. Well, we have a second caller from Enterprise. Good evening, Enterprise. Hello? Yes, we're hearing you. Good night, and good night to Shorty. Um, I enjoy your song and keep up the good work. God bless you. Okay, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> and we have a caller from Lavantil. Lavantil, come in. Hello, good night. Good night. Uh, I must compliment you on the wonderful job that you have been doing through the years, Mr. Shorty. Um, what I would like to ask, as, as a father, how do you relate with your kids? I'm learning. I am learning to relate with my children as a father ought to, because in time past I never had time to see them. But 13 years ago, God opened my eyes to see my children, and I am now learning to be a father and also to be a husband. I give God thanks for this in the name of Jesus continually. <laughs> Good evening, Diamondville. Hey, hello. Yes, we're hearing you. Hotel, brother. I just wanted to thank Brother Shorty Eyes for his participation as an African, and I hope you do more work on sin in the African community. And we have some beautiful chants besides Om Shanti Om, and I hope he quotes some in, in some of his music. Thank you. Praise God. He was just more or less commenting on how good your work is, and he hoped that you continue doing a lot more like that. Well, pray for me, brother. All of you. Remember me in prayer because without Jesus Christ, we can do nothing. And I need the strength to continue with the work that God has called me to perform. And you could be my prayer partners. So remember me in prayer. Remember us in prayer. Okay, we have a caller from Shagwanas. Good evening, Shagwanas. Hello. Hello, we're hearing you. Yeah, I'd like to ask uh, short here. You know, I'd like to commend him, first of all, on his most of uh, uh, change his lifestyle and, you know, trying to live a, a, a straight life and follow the, the narrow path and whatnot towards Jesus. I'm a bit concerned, though, that um, the fact that he has, you know, taken his family into the forest and they more or less live in uh, sort of isolation from society and such, and the children no longer, you know, went to school. Whether this was a, a disadvantage on their part in terms of, you know, getting a, a secondary level education and being able to 
to face the world, you know, as individuals, educated individuals, and being able to hold a job despite the fact of whatever religious um, commitment or, you know, lifestyle that they, they uh, may be inclined to follow. Thank you. Well, let me say that the life is not religious, but spiritual. And we are asked to trust in Jesus in all things, to learn of him. And my work is just to teach my children to put their trust in God. And he will take them wherever he wants them to go. The foundation is the Bible, the Holy Bible, the Word of God. And this is the work. Okay, well, next caller is from Samuel. We'll take that caller now. Good evening, Samuel. Yeah, have a good night. Um, good night, Rashoti. Good night, my brother. Yes, I'd like to know what kind of, uh, what relationship you had with the late Cecil Hume to Maestro. Uh, could you repeat that question, please? I'd like to know what kind of relationship you had with the late Cecil Hume to Maestro. We were good friends. As a matter of fact, I was the first guitarist to play for Maestro in 1958, somewhere around that time. We were really good friends. Very good friends. Well, we have our next caller on the line. I'm not sure from where, but... Arima. Good evening, Arima. Yes. Uh, evening, Shorty. Evening, friend. Yeah, um, I would like to know if uh, you see yourself, right, as uh, being called by God to, to preach the word, you know, at any time in the future, apart from just having a, a ministry in the, through music and so on, you know. I am sure that God has called me to preach his word. I am a musician and he has not taken away the music for me. I believe that my ministry is true music. Um, but right now I am ministering. And, um, well, God is leading and I'm following. Okay, we'll take the next caller from Piri Valley. Good evening, Piri Valley. Good afternoon, dear. Shorty. Good evening, sister. I want to tell you congratulations. Keep up the good work. And I'm sitting here listening to you and I will tell you that you have been an inspiration to me. You have set me thinking about a lot of things you have said. And just keep on preaching and keep on with your music. Thank you and good luck. God bless you, sister. And we have a caller from someone. Good evening, someone. Hello. Yes, we're hearing you. Speak up. Yes. Um, good evening, um, Rasho T.I. Good evening, my dear. Uh, it's a pleasure talking to you after all these years. But I have been an ardent admirer of you since I was a little child, um, even up to this time. And I, I admire your change, I admire what you have done with yourself and your family. And I wish that a lot of other families could take pattern from what you have created. And my question to you this evening is if you intend to continue with your music, because your music is so precious to us. Your message is precious to us. And I would like to know if, that, if you would continue with it and give us some more hope here in Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Nice of you for calling. Um, it is my desire to continue. And uh, I hope to be bearing musical fruits in old age. <laughs> Okay, we take a caller from Tunapuna next. Yes. Good evening, Tunapuna. Uh, good, good night, Shorty. Uh, I'd just friend. like to reiterate what one of the former callers uh, said to you earlier on, that uh, you have been an inspiration to all of us out here. And I must say that um, after hearing your music, I think that um, Sam Tobigo could really be proud of somebody like you. Well, thank God. Okay, we'll take a commercial break when we come back. More on Calypso Showcase. Welcome back and we're getting calls from all over Trinidad. I believe we have our first caller from Santa Flora, would you Ooh. believe? Good evening, Santa Flora. Good afternoon. Um, Shorty, I, I want to say that I admire your Calypso. I love to hear you sing a lot. I admire your Calypso all through the years. 
But one thing I want to ask is, how come, I mean, you said the caller asked just now concerning the children going to school and whatnot. I wonder what type of education you hope to give your children at home without before sending them to school, maybe for them to, to, to go to a college or things like that. I mean, God said he, he helped those who help themselves, and I believe I think those children want school and not stay in, I mean, out of civilization like that. How do you feel about that? I feel, I mean, they should come out to go to school and whatnot. I would think um, they will learn much, I mean, with just saying God will help them. Well, I believe that education is preparation for life. And you don't necessarily have to come out to a public school to be prepared for life. I am preparing my children by educating them out of the word of God. Reading, writing, spelling, arithmetic, whatever. I give this to them and I endeavor to do it more abundantly each day. But the important thing about education for me is getting them to know Jesus. Because I want to quote a piece of scripture that says, in time to come, um, this is in the book of Revelation, you will not be able to get a job or buy or sell without a mark upon your forehead. So then all your papers and all your education will be of no use if you don't have Jesus Christ in that last day. So my work is to prepare my children for when that time comes, they cannot fail. They will not be taken into the lake of fire, but into the kingdom of God. And that for me is education. Okay, we take the next caller from Mova. Good evening, Mova. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we're hearing you. Go ahead. Rashad here. Hello, brother. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Rastafari. <laughs> Praise God. Give thanks to really thank for all the years that are following you up. I give thanks and God bless you and your family for all the hard work that you come along with. I really admire you a long, 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 long time from well, you times coming up. And the blessing that I really see you crying on is so wonderful and beautiful. I just bless you at all times. And we hope in time to come that we'll be voting you for our Prime Minister. Give thanks. Praise God. Thanks okay. be to Jesus. We take a call now from Arima. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, Shorty. Good evening, sister. Yeah, I want to know the fact that you have um, trained your children to be spiritual children and um, some of them have gone out into the world and, you know, they've been doing all sorts of kind of music and so on. How do you feel about that? And um, now I believe that you must have worked very hard in trying to get them to, you know, walk in your footsteps so that um, I think it might be very hurting, it might be hurting very much the thing that after all this work they have done this. What is your impression about this whole situation? Well, I don't claim the work. You see, I am only an instrument of Jesus Christ. And um, if the children decide they want to go out into the world, the important thing is that by the grace of Jesus Christ, I have done what I am called to do, and that is to put my house in order and to bring my children to him. So, um, and he promises me that once I seek him with a whole heart, he will save my entire household. I don't know how he's going to do that, but whenever he decides to do that, I know that he will. My portion right now is to point them to Jesus, point them to the word of God, not to myself. They're not following me. I'm, I'm only leading them to Christ, and then Christ will take them the rest of the way. Yes, we're really getting calls from some remote places tonight, and we've got one from St. Bart's. Good evening, St. Bart's. Good afternoon, uh, Brother Shorty. All right, brother. Uh, I'm very happy to know that the work that you are doing for the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and most of all, you remind me of a certain uh, apostle, which is Paul, when he was going down to the road of Damascus as to destroy the children, the saints of God, when he have come in contact with, with Jesus on the road to Damascus. And your career that you were in, make me remember this. God had called you and give you this that you are doing now. And I only hope that you will continue and keep it because I know. Because it's not uh, you holding on, but Jesus holds you in his hands. And I hope that he will keep you there and you will hold on on Jesus and continue with what you are doing by educating the people of Trinidad and Tobago and letting them know what Jesus really stands for. 
Praise God. I would like to say this, that um, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Please remember us in prayer. Okay, closer to home, we've got a caller from Woodbrook. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Rashoti. I, Greetings, man. I pay tribute to you. Um, throughout your performances over the years, I am an ardent supporter of the art of Calypso in this country. And most of all, I must say within recent time, although you have uh, changed the, your, your general um, projection of yourself, I must say that there is a particular piece of music that you have that I think this country should pay special tribute to and pay special recognition to in respect to the serious threat of life in relation to the drug problem internationally. Uh, I'm referring especially to your piece called Watch Out My Children. And I would strongly recommend, I don't know if um, the rest of the nation can hear this, I strongly recommend that many parents encourage their children not only to study the lyrics of this particular song, but to also try to embed it in their minds for their own welfare. Thank you. I pray, I pray that Jesus Christ will perform your request and that many hearts will receive the word. Okay, we take the caller from Gasparillo now. Good evening. Hello, good evening to you, Garfield, good evening. Nice to know you, sister. A pleasant nice day, a pleasant night. Um, Garfield, you said something just now about um, your talents coming from God, and you want to use it for the glorification of God. I want to say that I agree with you totally, and that I hope many other artists take what you have said into consideration, because you know many people tend to only look at money and forget that their talent came from above and to use it likewise. I also want to wish you a belated happy birthday. Chin up. Bye-bye. Thank you, sister. Well, we have to remember that the talent was given to us of Jesus, and we must use it to bring back more for him. In so doing, we shall receive. As I say, all good things must come to an end, and Calypso Showcase is no exception. So, we got to close off tonight. Rasha Oti, I, just one thing I'd like to ask you before you leave tonight. You're a Calypsonian. We have a lot of Calypsonians out there probably watching the show. What advice can you give your fellow Calypsonians who have to, to walk this road every day? Turn to Jesus. Give him your all. And don't feel you can't do it. I have done it. And I know that what you are experiencing, I experience. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he can change things for you and make it right. Hang in there. God bless you all. Well, that brings us to the end of Calypso Showcase tonight. Our guest tonight has been Garfield Blackman, Lord Shorty, Rash Shorty. I, Shorty, it's been a pleasure having you. I really It's been a privilege <laughs> and it's been an experience for me. Praise God. Thank you again. I hope we could do this some other time. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm sure we'll have you back. Next week, we plan to have a very controversial Calypsonian sugar aloes. But until then, it's goodbye on Calypso Showcase. I know you don't want no sermon, but my admonition is to guide you against all the evils of life that creates strife. Destroy life. Walk cautiously, children be alert. Because you have an enemy that's roaming the earth. I know you're young and restless, but you don't have to be careless. You see, so bad thinking leads on to righteousness. Happiness